Hi guys and welcome back to another Dr. Ace video and today I'm in a new location, not at the desk making content but we are doing content in a different way today. I'm going to be at Donington Park for the Grand Prix for World Superbike and I really, really can't wait. Uh, we have done a nice little journey down, I've got the BMW attire on today, donning it very nicely as always and this is the first part of the vlog so I guess I'll see you in Donington Park in just a moment's time. So here we are then guys, my very first vlog just outside the BMW hospitality area sits our fantastic trailer, or at least it did. And speaking of that trailer, that is where I spend all of my time, well maybe 80% of my time, just teaching new players, showing new players how to play the game and giving tips and tricks to many good people. Now in there there is Thomas, one of the people who got me involved with this entire project, basically the whole reason it happened. And of course Rose, you just see the picture on the left hand side there, the gentleman, the videographer for FHO BMW team, which actually took me into the pits, which we'll be seeing later on. We did catch a glimpse of Patrick there just briefly, and Michael on the phone doing business calls to the BMW associates. But now looking at the magnificent BMW Motorrad World Superbike Team Hospitality Area. We are going to go in there in just a moment's time because there's someone in there I want you to see. But first and foremost, before we do that, I want to give a massive shout out to my friend Josh, one of my best mates for quite a long time, was the cameraman for the weekend, so the footage where I couldn't get, he did for me. So massive shout out to him for doing such a great job. But let's take a look at the inside. It was really stunning, very clean, very shiny. It was uh, certainly something very, very different for me to observe. And there I am, the main man of the attraction in the hospitality area, playing Ride 4, of course. But these are just some pictures of the area, just really stunning, very, very uh, well-to-do if you want. And I, it was an honor to be there. It was certainly a privilege to, to go in somewhere that probably wouldn't normally go. But we're gonna go for a little walk around, just a little bit of a wander, just to see what's happening. This was on the very first day when we arrived at the track. Didn't really know what to film at first, and I was a little bit tentative about leaving the trailer. But there on the screen right now is you're going to see me fiddling with that paddock pass quite a lot because I'm very, very proud to have a paddock pass with my name on it saying that I was with BMW. It was certainly something I wasn't expecting, but a bloody good treat to say the very least. And being able to go into the hospitality area for BMW was also such a swell, swell treat. But we are going to take a little bit of a further look into it because I really want to go to that store and pick up some merchandise. But one thing I didn't get is pictures of the merchandise I bought. But you're probably likely to see that in future videos or any other Instagram posts I end up doing from now. But we will have a little look in the Donington Park Mega Store. It wasn't quite as granular as Mega as it was dubbed, but it was it was okay. It was okay, but I am a sucker for merchandise and I really can't help myself buying things when I'm at these tracks. Whether it was Silverstone 2018, I went mad. I went mad here at Bron <laughs> Donington and I went mad at Bransatch as well. But let's get back into the action for regarding looking around the track and looking around different locations. We will get to some race footage later on, but for the time being, I still want to build up the excitement and show you this magnificent place of Donington Park. Because as a fan, as a fanatic of motorsports and motorcycle racing more than anything, it's like being a kid in a sweet shop. It, it's unbelievable to see so many people dressed like you who are supporting riders from Rossi fans who are, isn't even here to MotoGP to BSB to World Superbike where this event is the passion, the love for the sport is just it's something that cannot be replicated in this video I really don't feel it's something only going to that track and experiencing it, it it's hard to put into words but there's a magnificent atmosphere truly Truly amazing. And honestly, getting there and working with Thomas from Essex Consulting and some of the other guys and showing players how to play Ride 4, but being in this location was incredible. But I digress for now. Let's take a look at the Paddock Show 
The Planet Show has giveaways and has uh, auctions, which we're going to see very, very soon. Karaoke and even some guitarists who's going to come out and uh, rock out some jams. Probably like me on Guitar Hero many, many years ago. But I don't know how much of this I can actually play due to monetization, so I guess I will skip ahead now to the auction. But you are going to see a few things like Taz McKenzie, Lorenzo Baldassari, uh, Xavi Vieje was there as well. It's always great to see riders and the people you admire on television here in the flesh. It's something that not experienced too much before. 2018 Silverstone was my first and only MotoGP Grand Prix event. Since then I've now been to Donington Park and Brands Hatch and it's an absolute pleasure to have been and to consider looking at going again in the near future. But let's do a quickly jump ahead now to a heated auction. 350, 360, 370, 380, 390, 400, 410, 420, 430, 440, 450. Things really kicking off for Taz McKenzie's race worn boots. And look at this, gonna go up to 500 quid. 500, genuine bid, 500 pounds. 500, yeah, round of applause. Oh, oh, go on, fella. 500 quid. 510. She says yes, 510. 510 with you then. It's 510 pounds. I am surprised he didn't budge for an extra tenner. Tenner, 20 quid. If you've already done 510, surely you can budge to 520. 510 pounds. But bravo, though. Winning Taz McKenzie's boots is absolutely awesome. So fair play to the individual. But I did mention we're going to look at some bikes. Let's have a look. And the MV Augusta Super Veloce! My god, I love that bike. Just a gentleman wheeling it round, but by god, I love that bike. But let's talk real business now. Race oh, one. Here we go then, guys. 20 few laps. Down towards Redgate we go, and it looks like a pretty good start for everybody in the top four positions as they all go down towards Redgate. And it's going to be Tom Rack who leads into the first corner, trying to go into the Now something that truly cannot be replicated is the sound of those motorcycles. They sound incredible when you're there, they really do. And the video just doesn't do it justice, so I'm going to look at some more footage soon, but I want to just point out that uh, you can just generally see great legends of the sport just hanging around the track. Here we have Chaz Davis here, right outside our BMW Ride 4 trailer, and to the right hand side of them is just the Ducati hospitality area, but it's brilliant. Really, truly brilliant. I met Brad Ray while I was there, said hello to Charles Davis as well, even said hello to James Toesland. But <laughs> this sort of stuff is just epic. But now it's time for another part from the vlog. Hi hey guys, I'm just uh, leaving the BMW trailer now, on my way to watch the Super Bowl race of today. Hoping, I guess, well, since BMW are backing me, I guess I'll say Scott Redding. <laughs> Johnny Ray, I'm absolutely fine, you know. Anyone decent, really, I'm pretty pleased. As long as they're British, I guess. <laughs> no, we'll, we'll find out when we get there. But uh, yeah, quick update, I guess. Uh, it's been a fantastic, fantastic weekend here in Donington. It's really a different experience for me. It's, I don't go very far, I don't really do much apart from content, as you know, but the, the atmosphere is really nice, of course. Here, oh, I lost myself. I'm still getting used to this gimbal. This gimbal is pretty epic, though. Race is starting now, so you might be able to hear it. Let's get over to uh, Creative Curves around there, maybe Red Cape. Let's take a look. I'll see you guys very shortly. So we're on our way now to Craner Curves. I did have to go to Redgate first, of course, turn one, and then I was going to try and go around into Craner Curves. But I was still getting used to the whole vlogging thing and realizing now after editing this video. I need to do a lot more videos in landscape mode, so we'll learn for the next time, it's not a problem. But for now, looking at too many feet right now, we've got to get that camera up and we've got to start really pointing it right at the 
right things. Uh, the, the problem I had was uh, I didn't know how to feel amongst other people. Now, everybody wants to have a camera in their face, so I did try and angle the things where people wouldn't feel intimidated. But I guess it doesn't really matter at the end of the day. I'm, I'm here to record footage, and that's exactly what I'm trying to do here. But the great thing, got it on a big, long stick so I can get across and higher over the people so we can get some good viewing angles. But the bikes are coming now, so I'm going to shut up. <laughs> So I was trying to move around the track to find better angles, but I had a bit of time constraints because I had things to do. But I am going to try and move over and over and over as each lap passes so I can get to the crane of curves. But sadly I ran out of time. Excuse my fanboyism and excitement for Scott Redding getting on the podium here in Donington Park, but I think it's always special when a rider is having a tough time with a new manufacturer, sorts things out and they get on the podium. I think it's brilliant, so pretty happy for that one. But before we finish the end of this video, I do want to say a big thank you once again to Roj. I mentioned him earlier and I showed a brief picture. Roj introduced us to Ryan Vickers, who we showed a bit of ride for too. I actually had a good few lap times against Roj. And of course, the honour and the privilege of being invited into the FHO Racing BMW garage, walking through, seeing everything being packed up and changed, seeing the bike in person, and even standing on Donington Park's pit lane. It was awesome. And Roj is awesome, and his Instagram is awesome. So check out Motorcycle Sport Media for amazing, amazing bike edits. But let us not forget the reason why I was there in the first place, and that is because of this fantastic trailer. I had a chance to teach brand new people about Ride 4. I had a chance to meet fast riders who are now in the Discord server, experience Donington Park as a whole, and even develop as a content creator to now even considering vlogs for the future. But none of it would have been made possible without those three gentlemen on the screen there. Patrick on the left hand side, the absolute handyman legend who would certainly, certainly invite to your wedding because he's an absolute legend of a man. Thomas in the middle there, the whole reason I was there to be quite honest with you. Thomas seeked me out from Essex Consulting Group, gave me a chance to shine and teach players about Ride 4 and in the process even teaching him a few things or two about Ride 4. And of course my good buddy Josh on the right hand side who kept me company, drove me there and took many, many great shots and pictures for me whilst I was busy in the trailer. But what I will say guys, this has been my first ever vlog and honestly, it's been a new experience for me. I think I could do so much better in the future. But for now, I'm happy with how it went. I have got loads more pictures, but I just didn't know how to piece it all together. But I'm still learning. Give me a chance. And I can imagine we can do some amazing vlogs in the future when I go to the next few track spots. I guess that's it, guys. So thank you very much for watching, as always. I hope you enjoyed the video. Big thanks to all those people I've mentioned already. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh, hi. Didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Trace content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dot Trace video.